Rockies. Final score this afternoon, Virginia Tech advances to the Sweet 16 of the WNIT, 78-69 over George Mason, plus Virginia Tech collects its second consecutive 20-win season for the first time since 2003-2004. Uh, coach, a tremendous first half. You saw great energy out of your girls. It got difficult in the second half. As you step back, what did you make of this performance? Well, you know, survive in advance. You know, this time of the year, that, that's the motto. You know, but, but you want to get to that point where you're playing better. Yeah, you, you really do. And I thought we had a, a really, really good first half. You know, we, played, we shared the basketball, we moved, we defended well. Uh, we, we paid attention to the scout, and uh, so I was very, very proud of our kids. I thought we came out in the second half, and we got a little lack of day school. We allowed them to do some things. Give them credit. They came out, and they ran a couple different sets uh, where we weren't familiar with it, uh, and they got a position to put Butler, uh, who was a tremendous player, and she scored, uh, you know, pretty easily. But I thought, for the most part, Reagan did a really good job on her. Uh, we, we, to guard a kid like that, you have to have a lot of help. And I thought our help broke down in the second half, and we didn't give as much as we needed. But you know, 20 wins, which is which is phenomenal. Um, I'm very proud of that. Very happy for that accomplishment. Uh, the fact that we had to invent ourselves this year and probably reinvent ourselves probably four more times during yep. the year uh, is pretty impressive and shows resiliency of, of this group and uh, and how much they just you know stuck with it. So very proud. Good win this time of the year. Uh, you know, and again, I, I think I heard we're hosting again on yes. Thursday. Yep. Uh, kudos to the administration for allowing us to do that. Uh, but it, it's a good win. Good win. We didn't finish the game like I really would have loved to, uh, but we did a, We did a good job, and uh, no one's going to know how you did it. You know, did you do it? Yep. And, uh, we, and we did it, so I'm, I'm proud of the kids. I want to talk about the first half first and then a question about the second half, but the turnovers in the first half were – basically non-existent, two turnovers compared to the struggles against Navy. Uh, what did you like about the way that they went about their business in that first half that allowed the execution uh, to build in that first half? We were just focused, we were locked in. Uh, we, we, we were aware of our surroundings, we were aware of what they were trying to do. We shared the basketball uh, pretty well. And, uh, but, but the main thing is we had a good focus and uh, we knew what we were trying to do. And I thought Rachel, Rachel, Rachel looked like more of my Rachel. You know, uh, I, I joked with her and I said, you know, you just look like you were you were on some kind of medication or something, you know, and you were just a step and a half uh, slow uh, in the first game uh, against uh, Navy. But again, a lot of that is rush, taking off some rust. And uh, they came out tonight, you know, and, and we, we had a good day yesterday. We didn't practice a lot, uh, but we, we walked through some things and we got their minds right mentally. And uh, so it was really good. They came out and they were, they were focused and locked in. All right, so what did you talk about them uh, to them through that stretch that George Mason had. It seemed like, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the zone challenged Virginia Tech that they went to in the second half. How did you work through that and get to the point where you held on? Well, we, um, you know, this time of the year, you know, you're, you're playing, and uh, like one, one, of the, one of my you know, main goals is to really allow them to grow up. You know, we, we do a lot with them during the year and, you know, kind of controlling a lot. But one of the things I really want to do during this postseason run is to allow them to grow up. Because this year, no one could ever say we were a veteran group. You know, at, when you get experience like this and you continue to move on, you know, this is what makes you a veteran group. This is what allows the kids to be able to play through the situations and, you know, and, and understand what they have to do without me always yelling uh, in their ear. And that's the way I've always coached the, uh, the WNIT to make sure we get opportunities. And you'll watch kids grow up. You know, I've, I've had kids who barely played or, or played, you know, some some role for me. And then in the postseason, we gave them a significant role. And I watched them blossom into next year, and they just grew. And they grew and grew and grew. As a matter of fact, one of my my, uh, my predecessor at JMU, he called me, and we talked about it. We talked about it, you know, because he's in the WNIT right now, and he wanted to kind of use the same formula. And that's something that we're doing. So you see seeing Shep playing a little bit more minutes, playing different, uh, different positions. But we're allowing the kids. I'm allowing Rachel to call more plays. I'm allowing Rachel to get us through scenarios i'm allowing reagan to get us through scenarios and uh, they did a really good job so we, we made a, a little bit of adjustment uh against the zone after they had you know kind of taken us out of rhythm a little bit and uh we got like taylor got you know two quick baskets uh reagan got a couple of easy shots uh, i just thought we were still we lost a little bit of focus on the on the defensive end and uh but all in all you know it's a good win it's a good win because number one you get to continue to move on number two we won in the fashion that i wanted to win in where we, we kind of grew up today yep. you know, as a group. And uh, so, you know, eventually we'll get to that point where we can say, yeah, next year, you know, we're a veteran group. We're a veteran group because they've been in, in tough situations before. It seemed to me one of the key moments in the second half was when Reagan McGarity comes off the bench after having three personal fouls. 
and hits back-to-back three-pointers. What significance did that stretch have in the game? Well, a lot. You know, it, it, number one, it took us, uh, they had cut it down to eight, I think it was, and uh, she put it back right up to 14. Uh, it, it's a lot for her confidence. Uh, you know, as we move forward, because you know she's a, a, a mainstay in what we do, a uh, big part in what we do, and uh, and so it was just it was a, it was really good stretch. You know, I wish we had a taken care of business on the other end. Yep. You know, because I thought we we continued to allow them to stay in the game, but again, you know, I thought we did a good job uh, of just really handling uh, adversity, and uh, as a result, you know, it's, it's a good win. It's a really good win. You know, Natalie Butler, she's a WNBA draft pick. She's a tremendous player, and uh, and so for us to be able to get through this game. Uh, it, it's really a plus for us, so I'm excited. Coach, congratulations. Virginia Tech is moving on after taking down George Mason in the second round of the WNIT. Virginia Tech hosts the Sweet 16 on Thursday, 7 p.m. Stay tuned for the opponent.